In this LED, we will talk about the course project, this is a small project in this course. Uh, before that, we will describe what is the data and how we process the data and we will explain the each columns in the data sheet, also what you have to predict. Uh, this course project is based on the MOOC data we collected from IIT Bombay X. So, we discussed this MOOC data uh, like what data can be collected from MOOC in a, in a week 2. Uh, just to recollect here is the, the data we can collect from MOOC such as the learners ID, student ID, session ID, uh, the IP address, the discussion in the forums, uh, number of upwards, downwards, also their video watching behaviors, they are seeking the video or they are watching video in which speed, 1x speed, 1.5x speed, are they using the caption, all this information can be collected. And also we saw the two set of data processed, for example, this is the raw data we collect from the MOOC courses and the raw data consists of uh, the student is seeking the video and where the student is seeking the video also given here. Also we saw a similar raw data for scrolling the book or scrolling the PDF in the MOOC. So, we have uh, data collected from MOOC and pre-processed. We will provide you the pre-processed data for the course project. Now, I will show you the pre-processed data in Excel sheet and I also explain what is the goal of this project. So, that is what the aim of this particular project and what you have to do. Here is the data. The goal of this course project is to predict when the user will drop out. The first column is the user ID. The user ID is anonymized. So, the user is taking the course for 5 weeks. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This each row in this sheet is weeks data, one week data like this users one week interaction data with the MOOC. And for the second user, the user also interacted with more than 5 weeks. The course was only for 4 weeks. So, the user is interacting with the 5 weeks means he has completed all the weeks of courses. Similarly, for user 3, user 4 and everyone has interacted more than 5 weeks. There are few users who interacted with the course for first 2 weeks and third week then they drop out. We want to predict which users will drop out on this week. For example, this user 1 has interacted with uh, MOOC for uh, 5 weeks and he completed the course. So, the, stud the student is not dropping out. So, the column 1 is the user ID uh, and column 2 is on slide on slide seek like is the student is seeking the video. If seeking is when you are watching a video you can move the time like timeline you can say I want to watch a video from 1 minute seek back to 2 minutes you can seek the video. If they are seeking the video how many times they did in this particular week that is a count this is a column 1. Then column 2 this is week number like the, the user is participating in 5 weeks, 4 weeks, so 1 or 2 weeks is each week number. So, we have data for each week and how many times the user interacted in a forum, so 2 times and how many, how many minutes the student spent on the video that is 137 minutes here and 67 minutes, 79 minutes. And this particular uh, column indicates how many times the student uh, were actively participate in the discussion forum or discussions. Uh, this one indicates how many times the student's navigation uh, moving the page from um, video to LXT or LXT to LXI or navigation happens. Or here this is the time the student spent on courses. So, these each thing is a time spent on uh, each of these uh, pages in the LMS module. Also the grade the student has taken a course uh, assignment. Uh, this column is grades, the grades indicates students performance in the assignment for each week. We will indicate what is the maximum marks per each week and this is the attempts how many times the student attempted on this particular assignment is a one time attempt or multiple times the attempt numbers is there. 
and vote is uh, the student upvoted someone's comments or someone's discussion in the thread and how many times a user has participated in a thread. And this is, is the user searched anything in the forum, the forum has lot of comments, this is searched for anything, any keyword in the forum and we looked for that. The search number of searches also given in this column and is looking for infos and is like looking for in, inline comments or is jumping to the courses or he jumped to particular HTML page or how many times he closed the particular page or video playing time or number of times he played the video and uh, problem check failed and problem created. So, we got all this information, we will provide the details of each column in the project. So, what we have to predict? We have to predict the students dropout. So, here we have a users we have weekly data or interaction data in LMS and also we have the label to predict that is what you predict the, the students is dropping out or not, it's so only binary classification. You need to use this data and apply the data on a software um, vector. You need to use this data and apply it on a ML software vector and create a binary classifier model and uh, you have to use tenfold cross validation and predict the students um, dropout rate from the given data. In our course project, we will provide you the details of each column and what to predict and what software use and we will talk about also cross validation. That is all about the data, thank you.